Today we are going to be learning on how to install a custom map to our server. Now this could be a pre-made map that you've downloaded off the internet or a save or something off of your computer that you've previously downloaded. Now if I were to download a Minecraft map just for the purpose of this video, because my server version is 1.12.2 and I just want to download a quick map for my server. So I'm just going to search up a map and there's a latest, let's download a parkour map for 1.12.2. And I should find some maps like this. So this seems like a cool map. And I'm just going to download the map that I want to download. And then once you've downloaded the map, if you're downloading it off the internet, you should see that it downloads as a .zip file. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move this into a file where I know where it is so I'm able to upload it easily in the future. So I've gone ahead and moved the zip file that I've just downloaded to a place where I'll know where it will be. Now there's a quick test you want to do here which is you just want to use a program called WinRAR and you want to right click the zip file and press extract here. Now there's two things you can see you'll either see a list of files like this or you will see its own folder like this okay. Now it doesn't matter which one you see but in a moment you'll just have to do two different things but once you've seen which one it is you're just going to come to your server and you're going to press upload on the zip file. Now I'm going to refresh the page and now I can see my zip folder. Now if it was like mine and it created its own separate folder like this, I'm just going to right click it and I'm going to press decompress and it's created its own folder on my server also. If it was the other way and it created all the list of files, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it rule pure dash by sparkle 2. So I should now get that folder and I'm going to come to here, I'm going to quickly copy the name of the folder and I'm just going to move this by adding this to the front of it and I'm going to move this folder to that directory by doing like that. So I'm going to move it now and now I should see it's been moved here for me and then I'm going to press decompress and here I'm just going to see the folder I've already got but here you would see the list of files and then you've set up your map and you've uploaded it successfully using a zip file. If you had a uh, save on your computer and you just had a normal folder you can either zip it on your computer using this program by adding it to an archive and zipping it. It has to be a .zip file or you can use SFTP to upload it and I'll add all these uh, links in the description so you can easily find these guides on how to do it. Now there's two ways we can do adding the map now. You don't have to delete the world folder but if you want to keep the world you may want to then you can just leave it. Now to actually set the map that you want to load into primarily so the first map you'll see on your server you just want to copy the name of it here and I'm going to go to the file server.properties and I'm going to find the setting that says level name which is here and I'm just going to paste in the name of the folder. It can have spaces, it will work with spaces as well and then once I've done that I can just go ahead and start my server and this is the map that it will now load in. However, if you wanted to have multiple maps on your server you would first need to install Spigot which is uh, a library that allows you to install plugins. We'll leave a link on how to install that in the description as well. Now, if you wanted to have multiple, you need to install a plugin called Multiverse Core, and this allows you to have multiple worlds. So, if I quickly go back and change the world back to the default world, and I wanted to have two worlds on my server that I can constantly go to and for, and I don't have to worry about constantly coming back to the file, changing it, and restarting the server, what I can do is I can use this plugin and this will start the world and load it into my server for me as well. So once the server starts and it's loaded up the plugin what you'll be able to do is you can use the commands on this plugin to import the world so you can teleport between the two worlds. So once my server has started up I can use the commands from this plugin to import the world but one note is the folder name cannot have any spaces or the plugin will take it as a different argument so I'm going to come here rename and I'm just going to remove the spaces in this case because it's easier to re remove the spaces like that and then I'm going to copy the name of the folder again and I'm just going to come back to my console and the usage of the command is mv import the folder name that you want to import and the type of world. Now if I type something random here it should show me a list of all the worlds for you that you can import. So you can do a normal world, a nether world or an end world. In this case it's a normal world so I'm just going to do mv 
import name and I'm just going to do a normal and you should see that it begins to load the world and you can see that the plugin has now loaded in to my server and if I type MV list now you can see that I've got loads of worlds that you can now insert into your server and you can also use it to go around your server as you wish with multiple worlds and you can use MVTP world name to TP. Thank you very much for watching and this is how you've been installing a world on your server. I hope this has helped and we'll see you in the next tutorial.